Hello there. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing Black Bow Swimwear. I'm going to be trying on different swimsuits from Black Bow as someone with more of a medium body type, and I will be showing you how they look, my thoughts, quality, sizing, and any kind of recommendations I have. I find that a lot of these types of swimsuit brands only show like one body type on their website, so hopefully this review will be helpful to show you a different body type and how these swimsuits look. I will try to do my best to be as insightful as possible in this review. So Black Bow is a relatively new brand. You may have seen them on Instagram or TikTok, but they were started in 2017. And since 2019, they have made a commitment to be more sustainable. So all their swimwear is made out of recycled fabric and all of their like shipping labels, packaging, and things like that are all biodegradable. And they do take part in different like beach cleanups and initiatives to help be more environmentally conscious and friendly. So we love that. That's definitely something we can get behind and I think more brands need to start implementing. I will say Black Bow is more of a high-end swimsuit brand. So all of their tops and bottoms range from like $45 to $70, depending on what you're getting. So it is a little bit pricier. I bought from them before and I still wear my swimsuits from back then all the time. And I've had zero quality issues even after putting them in the wash. And I do think if you find a swimsuit that you love and you love the print and you're able and willing to spend that type of money, go for it. But other than that, don't feel any pressure to buy from any brand really. Use your money the way you want to, but just be aware for this brand that I'm reviewing today, they are a little bit pricier than your average swimsuit. As a disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with Black Bow Swim at all. They have no idea I'm making this video. I've made my purchases myself and this is not sponsored. So although I always give my honest review with any brand that I review, just be more assured that this review is literally just a true consumer experience. Bought it myself, tried them on. Sometimes they're fails, sometimes they're wins. I will share every thought that I have, negative, positive, I don't care, you're gonna get it. If you're new to this channel, my name is Veronica and I do post videos on fashion reviews, beauty, sometimes hair and travel. So if you haven't, feel free to hit that subscribe button and join the family. We would love to have you here. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. On the side of the screen, I will have my measurements for you guys' reference. And as always, they will be in the description box below as well. I typically get a medium or large for my top, depending on the brand. And then I get mediums for the bottom, just depending on the brand and the cut. So getting into the video, you can see I have three sets of bikinis that are brand new and then I have two sets of bikinis that I bought before and I actually did review in an old video. These are still available on their website so if you're interested stay tuned for this. I'll leave it to the end but I did review them in that video. Check it out if you haven't. For the first bikini we have this cute green number. We did get a two-piece and this is in their Papillon shimmer print. It's kind of weird to say that word. I never say it so I'm sorry if I'm saying it weird. Here we have the print. It's basically very spring. You got butterflies. Do you have shimmer here as well if it'll focus? I just thought this would be so cute because I've been super into the whimsical fairy vibes and I like how green looks with brown hair. I got the martini triangle top in this print in a size large and then I did get the bottoms as the Maui classic cheeky bottoms. So these are a little bit cheeky, but from pictures, they didn't look like a straight up thong. I also got these bottoms in a size large. Not really sure why I opted for a large. It was either because people in the reviews were saying it runs small or because of their own description. It'll be on the screen, but I'm kind of concerned that it's going to be too big but we shall see. I can probably hike it up the hips and it'll be fine. It looks like for the top, I spent $45 and the bottoms were $41 roughly. So pretty pricey set, about 90 bucks altogether. I will say this quality is just as good as the bikinis that I've gotten in the past. I would hope so with that price point, but you just never know. And then they do have their rubber brand logo here and that is sewn to the back. For how the swimsuit comes, of course, you do have a crotch guard here for trying it on in case you need to return it. And they do advise leaving all the tags on in case you want to return the item because they will not take a return if the tags are missing and the item has been worn. 
Without further ado, let's go ahead and try this swimsuit on and I'll give you my thoughts. So here is the first swimsuit. We'll go into the top first. So this is that Martini triangle top and that Papillon shimmer print. So I got this in a size large and as you can see, there's definitely enough fabric to help cover my chest. Although I will say this particular material is different than their other Martini triangle tops because it does have that shimmer effect. Reading the fabric it looks like they are made out of 73% nylon 10% spandex and 13% metallic yarn so they did have to change the composition which changes how it fits this fabric doesn't feel as snug and secure as the other ones so I definitely will never be like swimming in this swimsuit really cute and I love how it looks but I just don't feel secure in it at all if I was moving around a lot um, there is risk for under boob slippage here, but I don't think there's any risk for nippage slippage. Nippage slippage, that's quite a sentence. There is pretty good side boob coverage here. This type of fabric, it's almost like shimmer plasticky. It's a different type of fabric that I'm used to for some suit. In the back, you do just have the standard strings for the trial top. The other part of why this feels less supportive is the strings are made out of that same fabric. They're not like the normal stretchy type of performance fabric. So these strings are kind of hard to like tie tightly to help keep this all situated. I don't think this fabric making it less secure would be a problem if you're someone with a smaller chest than me, but if you are more bigger chested and you just need a little bit more support, keep that in mind. This suit is definitely the least supportive that I've had from Black Bow. For the bottoms, we have the Maui Classic Cheeky Bottoms, and this is a size large, and it actually fits me decently well. It's definitely not snug, which I didn't anticipate it being since it is a size large, but it doesn't dig into my hips at all, which I like, and I can hike it up if I want because there is that extra fabric. I don't wanna do a full back shot, but you can kind of see the amount of cheekiness for these bottoms. Other than sizing, I will say my other observations after wearing this for a little bit is I do find this fabric to be slightly itchy right here underneath. It'd be a little irritating with the shimmer. I feel like this is just more of like a show kind of bikini, so not very functional. Wouldn't wear it like all day for anything, but if you're going to do a quick little kiki at the pool and you want to look cute, I think that's a good option for that because I do love the print. It's very stylish. On to the next one. Next, we have the swimsuit I am honestly the most excited for. So fingers crossed that this one works out. I'm going to be very disappointed if it doesn't, but this is their Siren Song print which is gorgeous. Here you can see it's just this beautiful purple floral print. I just love the spring vibes here. And of course I love purple. And then you do have like some baby blue straps with more floral detail here. I got this print in the Gianna asymmetrical top in a size large. And then I got the bottoms in the Gianna Rouge cheeky bottoms in a size medium, which is my normal bottom size. So it'll be interesting to see how these fit compared to the other large bottoms I got. I never tried either of these styles out in black bow or really any swimwear. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works with my body type. I will say this set is one of their newest ones and it was pricier than the last one I just showed you. The top retails for $60 and the bottoms retail for $55. So a little bit pricey, not going to lie but it is beautiful. The straps are of course adjustable, which we love. I recently got my chest size measured and I'm a 32 double D, so we will see if this fits in here. Hopefully it does, and that is why I got a size large instead of a medium. Here are the Gianna Rouge Cheeky Bottoms. I believe this is gonna be even more cheekier than the last bottoms, but I will share my thoughts once I've tried it on. And you do have the ruching on the back, you can see right here. I assume to help emphasize your glutes. And then you do have the side bands here, which unfortunately are not adjustable and they're not that stretchy. So I am a little concerned it's going to dig in. You can see the drawstring is here sewn in. That has a little bit of stretch, so that might help. I have a feeling these are going to dig into my hips, especially if you're someone who gains weight in your hips. Just keep that in mind. It may be a case where you need to size up to make these work for you. But enough chitter chatter here. Let's go ahead and try this on. I'm so excited and I will give you my thoughts on what I think. 
All right, this swimsuit is definitely the spicy, cute, like fashionista option, and I love it. So this is the full shot, but let's go ahead and go into the top portion. I was a little confused on how to wear it, so this is my tan line, just ignore that. It kind of looks weird with this, but I digress. I actually had thought that this portion, the rubbery portion was for under the bust and it looks like that's actually for the top. Under the bust there's actually no kind of rubber portion but there is like extra fabric wrap to help keep you in and situated. Most of the time when you see bandeaus that rubber thing is at the top so that makes sense so it doesn't like flip over but I do kind of wish they had something more underneath just to help make you feel more secure but at least right now just standing here I feel decently fine. I just don't think I'd be jumping around. Of course you have that one strap here which is so beautiful this is my first asymmetric top and i love it asymmetrical looks are very good for anyone who has like broader shoulders or broader back because it kind of just helps break that up i'll show you what it looks like in the back so in the back you do have a tie here and then you've got that one strap that is adjustable i haven't adjusted it but that is there for you if you need it very good quality this is very thick like you would not be nipping in this at all you just have to keep in mind like the coverage i got a size large for my girls because they need it, and especially in a style like this, they typically are more suited for the itty bitty titty committee, but I'm gonna make it work because I think it's cute and I deserve to have this style too. You can see there's a little bit of spillage right here just from my chest. I do believe there's cup pads in this, so let's try to see if taking the cup pads will do anything to help the coverage portion, because sometimes the cup pads just take away the space your chest needs to fill out the bikini. Aha. So there are cup pads right here and taking it out, I do feel like this has way more room already. Their cup pads are pretty standard, I'm not gonna lie. They're not like the best quality. They're not thick or anything, but they're not like Shein quality either. They're just kind of standard in the middle. All right, so I just took this one out as well just to see if this would help with the sizing. You can see there's less of that bulge here and my girls just have more room to fill out the fabric. I will say though, taking out the cut pads, I'm gonna have to tighten the back a little bit just to help push it in and keep that support there. As typical with black bow fashion, this top is just more so for like lounging, tanning. It's not really meant for like swimming laps, you know? This is about how people swim. So here you can see the bottoms and these are a size medium. So they actually fit me um, a little bit better than the large, but there is just a little bit squeezing here, which honestly I'm okay with because I feel like I can run around in these bottoms and not feel not supported. They just definitely stay up. They don't pinch me by any means. I can just feel like the compression, I guess, on the side as I anticipated. Here you can see that this is indenting just a little bit. The only other thing I'm noticing is the seam here is a little wonky. Like there seems to be some clusters um, within this drawstring. So it looks like it's pretty much where the two drawstrings maybe meet and there's like a little clump here. Not something you would really notice unless you're someone like me who's reviewing clothes and you wanna pick out every imperfection. I definitely can't show you the back of this swimsuit because it's even cheekier than the last one. These are the Gianna Rouge Cheeky Bottoms and if you are looking for more cheekiness than the last one, the Maui Classic Cheeky Bottoms, these are a good way to go. I do find them to be very flattering on the back and they do have that rouge detail, which is flattering. I will definitely be getting a lot of use from this bikini. Genuinely obsessed with this top, I do recommend. And if I haven't mentioned it already, definitely size up for the top if you are bigger chested. It's just absolutely necessary if you're gonna make it work. And if you're someone with an even bigger chest than me and you're concerned about showing too much, I would not opt for this top. It's just not ideal for anyone with a bigger chest in that regard. Now on to the next swimsuit. Here we have the last brand new swimsuit. Let's go ahead and open it. Gorgeous. I just love black bows prints. They're just so girly and fun and colorful. So this swimsuit is in their Dear Diary print. What a cute name for a print, by the way. Let me show you up, up close. Here you got like the gingham and then you have some flowers as well. Very pretty, very cool. So again, just such a cute spring vibe. And the top is an underwire top. It's actually the Tiana underwire top. And I did get this in a size large 
because in my experience with underwires, you really don't want them to be too small, especially if you have a bigger chest because the wire part tends to be pretty painful if it's being squeezed into your skin. Sometimes even the wire will poke out of where it's sewn in if there's like too much pressure going on. You can see with the top, it has this beautiful molded cups, but it also has like this fabric here that folds over and just adds to that wrapping detail. And then it does go up into this kind of shape. You can see that the straps are adjustable and then the back just has like the clasp here. And with the clasp, there are two loops for you to tighten it even more similar to a regular bra. So we love the adjustability here. I feel like it really speaks to the quality and thought that they put into their bikinis. And it is another reason I felt comfortable sizing up into a large to accommodate for my chest because everything else for my frame is adjustable. For the bottoms, I got the Maui Classic Cheeky Bottoms, and I also got these in a size large. These are the exact same cut as the first swimsuit that I showed you, so I won't go too much into them since I've already showed you the first one and my impressions there, but just wanted to let you know which trim I got for this bikini set. Without further ado, let's go ahead and try the set on. Here we have the next swimsuit, and it's just giving Dorothy from Wizard of Oz in the best way possible. Let me go ahead and show you the top first. Here is that Tiana underwire top, and and this is again in that Dear Diary print. And first things first, I just love this little fold over fabric feature where it kind of goes over the side boob area and goes in. I feel like that's really flattering, especially if you want less emphasis on your shoulders. Of course, you do have the underwire feature here. And that is the main reason I sized up in this top because I needed some extra room for my girls. And I will say even in a size large, this doesn't have too much room for my chest. There is a little bit of spillage on the side, but it's not so much so that I will not wear this. It does wrap around good here. And then in the back, you can see it's just straight across. I did have to hook this into the tightest position since I sized up to a large and I haven't changed the straps, but they are adjustable. I really like this top. It's just giving farmer girl vibes, but very cute. I don't know, very girly, which is the mood lately for me, I guess. So here you have the bottoms and these are that same Maui classic cheeky bottoms in a size large. And I will say these are actually more snug than the last swimsuit in the same type of bottoms and size because of the fabric. I'm telling you that Papillon Shimmer just had a different type of fabric. It just didn't have that level of support that you normally get from their normal swimsuit fabric. Another thing to note with these bottoms is I do notice that the top kind of folds over over if you can see the line of blue here so just a little detail that isn't preferred it's supposed to fold like this i definitely think these bottoms run small but other than that they do actually fit well as long as i ignore the flipping issue that keeps happening and for the back again it is that cheeky cut not extremely family friendly but not a total thong very cute stylish i definitely think this one's a little more feasible to wear if you're swimming around because I feel like there is more support in this fabric. Now let's move on to the next swimsuit. So for the last two bikinis, they are swimsuits I bought from like a year ago, but they are still available on their website, which is why I'm putting them in this video. For the first one, we have the Lazy Paisley print, and this is one of the prints that I always, always, always get compliments on when I wear. Of course, it is a Paisley print, and you have like the bluish purple and then the pink over it. So it's just a really bright, beautiful combination. I got this print in the martini triangle top in a size large. And then I also got the bottoms in a size medium. And these are the martini high rise cheeky bottoms. You can see with this set, you have like a little ruffle detail on the outside of the seams. And that is also featured in the string top here. When I purchased these, the top was $50 and the bottoms were $45. Let's go ahead and try these on. So here we have that Paisley swimsuit and let me go ahead and go into the top. So this again is the Martini triangle top in a size large. And again, this one's different than the Papillon Shimmer fabric because it has that more soft swimsuit feel and it just feels more supportive. In the back, you do have the standard strings and I will say this one's like very, very long, unnecessarily long. That's the only thing I don't like about this swimsuit 
because sometimes those strings are kind of weird with tanning. So here you got that full shot and these are actually the Martini High Rise Cheeky Bottoms. So a little bit different than the other ones I showed you. I would say that these bottoms, they're actually more cheekier than the Maui Classic Cheeky Bottoms, but not as cheeky as the Gianna Ruched Cheeky Bottoms. So kind of in the middle of those two, but definitely still cheekier than the other bottoms. So I will not show you the back half. I've had this swimsuit for a year now and I've worn it so many times because I really love the color and I always get compliments on it. Definitely recommend it's still available on their website. Just don't know what sizes it's available in, but I wanted to include it because it is a favorite of mine from Black Bow. Now let's move on to the next swimsuit. For the last bikini today, we have the Lemon Cello print. Again, one that I bought for my previous haul over a year ago, and it's still available on their website. Here is the print, just absolutely gorgeous. This is actually the print that like attracted me to Black Bow in the first place. I saw it on Instagram and I fell in love. It has lemons, like how can you not? I got the Misha triangle top in a size large. And for the bottoms, I actually tried the Candice Ruffle cheeky bottoms, so very very cheeky, but it does have the ruffles on the side. And I thought it would just add some sort of volume to my hips since I do have broader shoulders and it's nice to add emphasis to my hips to kind of balance my body out. Honestly, a lot of times I fold in the ruffles though because sometimes I just don't want to be that like girly because it does give that girly vibe. It is cool because you can just fold the ruffles in when you wear it. I'll show it when it's on and kind of get a different type of vibe with the same bottoms. And these also have that lacing at the top. Well, the Misha triangle top is just the standard typical normal string bikini vibe. When I bought these items about a year ago, the top was $55 and the bottoms were $55 as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and try this one. So on. here we got that limoncello design. So here's kind of the full shot and then let me show you the top. So this one is a Misha triangle top, so it's different than the Martini triangle top. And I think the main difference is the strings, the strings are just your normal standard shorter size. I just realized for the last bikini that I guess you can tie the long strings in the front and have no strings in the back. And that's why it's long. Not my preferred style, but I guess that's the main difference between the two tops. This is a size large. And I will say that the Misha triangle top has less fabric space than the Martini triangle top. So if you need more coverage, maybe opt for that one instead of this one. I still have decent side boob coverage and I don't really spill out of it which is great. So here are the canvas ruffle bottoms and they are really cute. They definitely have that girly vibe with the ruffles and I definitely feel like they add some weight to the bottom half so if that's something if you have like a inverted triangle body type or you just want more emphasis on the hip area this could definitely be a good choice for you sometimes i don't really want the extra ruffleness because it's just not my vibe for the day so you can actually fold it in like so and then there are ruffles in the back so you do have to fold those in as well and then you have like your standard bikini bottom so cute just kind of have like two different options for the swimsuit for now i'll flip this back out these bottoms are a size medium and they fit me really well they feel very good on the body and because they are a medium and i think because of the type of bottoms they are they're a little cheekier than a maui classic cheeky bottom so i will not be showing you the backside. one other thing i will note i can't really show you guys because again i don't want to show my whole butt but i do have hip dips here and i do find that these ruffles are good at balancing those out. So if that is a concern that you have or that you're self-conscious about in swimwear, I totally get you, girl. I would recommend trying these out and seeing if you like it. I personally find that they help kind of draw attention away. Here's the whole shot of the bikini. But yes, this is so cute and it has lemons, so it's definitely a recommendation from me. That is going to conclude this Black Bow Swim haul and try on review. I really hope you got something from this review and it was helpful. If you have any suggestions for other brands to try, feel free to leave a comment down below. 
And if you do like this video, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button because it helps push these videos out to more people and thus keeps this channel going. And if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you feel inclined to and join our little family. I would love to have you here. I do try to post videos at least twice a month. I am a newer channel, so I'm still working on trying to get as much content for you while working my normal job. But I do want to post videos on Sunday morning, so look forward to videos then. It just might be every other week instead of every week. Other than that, thanks for chilling with me today, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!